So I want to do like a full face of everything. See them? I don't think they have any like major setting powders. Okay. So they have a bronzer powder and then they have the contouring palette. Let's do. So this is like a two in one. So this one's like a banana powder and then you got a contouring powder. So Shin Foundation. Oh, I know they ain't got my color in that. This is an eyebrow, like an angled brush. You can use it for liner or eyebrows. It's a dual fiber. Um, now I could use a powder brush. That might be okay. pen stuck in my head honey what's up guys and welcome back to face over matter it is your girl jay here and in today's video we are going to be doing a full face using drugstore products i know i recently did a full face using drugstore products but it was part of like a color pop review but today is literally drugstore straight up going to the drugstore buying drugstore stuff I got my good old Walgreens bag full of stuff. Today's video is just a full face using wet and wild makeup. Pocket friendly is what I like to call it. And I just wanted to sit down and do a full face using pocket friendly priced makeup. I'm kind of ashamed of myself because the Lord is not proud of me. We got some brushes. I just got some brushes we're gonna use. Um, more brushes. Okay, we're good to go now. So let's do it. The only thing real quick before we get started that's not gonna be part of Wet n Wild is the lashes, but I did get a fresh pair of the uh, Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection Lashes in the Style Corset, which I have featured several times here on my channel. I've been raving about these, so I'll include those today. Wet n Wild, they do have lashes, but honestly, they're not good. So this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, and this is the matte one. I don't know if they had another one in store, but I know this one was the matte one, so I was like, I'm all for matte. Especially in this weather right now, you guys, summer is on its way out, and I just honestly feel like it's getting hotter. I'm just going to apply this in my T-zone area. This is actually kind of liquidy. All right, let's just go ahead and rub this in. All right, so this is actually really nice and thin, which I'm all for. I really like a thin based like primer. I don't really care for nothing super thick. I already had a foundation here. So yeah, so I already had one foundation here at home and I bought another one, so. But I have the shade Caramel, 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 whichever one. Okay, so already looking at my face, I look really mad, like, Oh yeah, this is this is actually pretty matte. I'm trying to I, like I've had this, so I wonder if if I just didn't like the foundation or what. But let's just apply it. We're just gonna add a layer and just blend it all over the face. I'm gonna use the flat side of my beauty blender or well, my Real Technique sponge, which you can also get from the drugstore. Ooh. Okay, the smell smells like paint or something. Like if you're painting, it's exactly what this smells like. You know what, not bad. This is actually not bad at all. Okay, so as of right now, this actually looks really good. A lot better than what I honestly thought it was gonna look like for the beginning. Okay, moving on to concealer. I actually got two concealers because the shade range with that wasn't as good either. This one I got is in medium deep tan. And this one honestly looks like just exactly my skin tone, so I don't even think this one's going to highlight me at all. Yeah, this is literally my skin tone. All right, I'm gonna go in with the other one. This one is medium tawny, and this one in store was the next up. Again, I don't know if this is the next shade up in the collection altogether, but in store, this was the next shade up from that one. And I'm gonna use this one to highlight, and hopefully, oh yeah, that's a lot better. Now hopefully this will work out. It is a bit light, but I think we can make it work. I'm just gonna go through and highlight like usual. It doesn't look terrible. 
Um, let me get a little mirror just so I can see a little bit closer up. To be honest, guys, this looks pretty good. I just love when I'm able to use something from the drugstore and it actually is doing very well. And the concealer is pretty much gonna be our eye base too. They did have an eyeshadow primer, but since I don't ever really use an eyeshadow primer, I just figured I'm not even gonna use it with this one because that's just something I really don't care to do is prime my eyes. But I do, I do prime my eyes, I use my concealer and that's always helped. All right, so surprisingly the concealer is nice. I feel like it's a really nice consistency. I will say the coverage is very light to medium. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's move on to powder. All right, so they don't have like a dipping in type of powder ordeal, but they do have like these little contouring and palettes. It has like a highlighting color and a contour shade. So I figured I'd get that. All right, so of course I'm gonna start off with the banana shade right here. And let me pop open one of these brushes. I'm just gonna do like a nice sweep of this color, just kind of tapping it on. And just see if I can set the eye with this. All right, so off the bat, I'm not getting as much coverage as I want, but it's not bad. I think this is a really, I think you'll get a really pretty makeup look from using this. What I will say so far is that I'm looking very matte and I'm loving it, but that's always a plus. I will say I really like that, um, that primer. All right, I'm gonna take another brush. This is a bigger brush. This was $2.99, I think. I'm just gonna take the other side just kind of go in, tap off any excess. Oh, I forgot, they did have a contour stick. I guess it wasn't meant for me to use, but they do have a contour stick, cream contour stick, but I forgot to use it, sorry. I just went straight in with powder, but honestly, I'm liking how this looks. So, but this honestly, I think looks really good, actually. So what I will say is you may since this is like, this is actually like really powdery. So I will recommend to most definitely use a spray once you're finished with all like your powder products. But so far, I kind of messed up my nose a little bit, but so far I think it looks pretty good. Next, I want to use a blush. This one is Mellow Wine. All right, I'm going to go back in with the brush I used to set my face with. Okay, doesn't look bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face really quick, just keeping the same makeup routine that I always do anyway. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Thinny Matte Spray. Packaging is honestly kind of cute though, for real. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and spritz my face. <coughs> Alcohol on a thousand. Woo, that was, that was intense, okay. Kind of let that simmer down a little bit. I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of tap lightly over everything just to make sure the powder is really picked up. Okay, so before I do highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and get that out of the way so we can start with our eye makeup. I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild pencil. This is the retractable brow pencil in the shade medium brown. All right, we get a spoolie and we get the brow product on the other side. I think what will help is if you warm the product up first on your hand and then go in. It feels a bit waxy, which is different, but um, I kind of understand if it was some type of purpose behind it being waxy because it may already have like a built-in brow setter type of thing. All right, so I'm gonna scoot you guys up a little bit. I'm gonna change my lens so we can start working on these eyes and then we'll back out for the finishing stuff and then we'll see how it looks. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go into this little eyeshadow palette. I actually got two little eyeshadow palettes. This one is like a smaller one It has a really nice, I don't know if that's green or blue, I think it's like green, like a gold shade, and then we have this one. So I wanted to just pick something that I knew I would end up using. All right, so I also got me a little eyeshadow brush. These were 99 cents. All right, so the first shade I'm gonna go into is this little shade right here. They don't, do they have names? Nope, they don't have names, but they're just kind of, they're kind of like guidance words. So like this one is like transition, you have crease, definer, eyelid, brow bone. So I'm pretty sure this is one of the brow bone colors. That really didn't do anything, but. Okay, let's just move on, because I didn't do anything. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. This is actually called Transition. 
I'm just gonna swivel that into the brush. And these little brushes, they may be 99 cent, but they, they're actually pretty nice. They have like this little gripper part where you can kind of put your finger into, gives you a nice grip. All right, going into the crease, I'm just gonna start by blending that transition shade in. Again, the conceal and foundation and stuff that's on my eyes is pretty much my eyeshadow primer. And that usually works out for me, so if you feel the need to go in with an eyeshadow primer, I don't know how that works. But even in my regular routine, I don't ever really use one, so I just skipped over that. All right, so, so far so good. This is actually a really nice color. And I'm kind of looking back, like taking my mirror and looking back, just so I could kind of get the color really into my socket, my crease. I really wanna do a nice fall look today, but just like kind of like an everyday fall makeup look, which to me is simple eyes and then a pop lip. All right, so I think that looks really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this color and pop that on the lower lash line, since I already know, take that down there anyway. For some reason, as I'm applying my eyes, making my eyes darker, it's kind of bringing out my under eyes. I think it's picking up like that on camera. I feel like my under eyes look really, really light. I'm feeling like something else isn't blending either. Like this down here, it looks like it's not trying to blend. Using my same little blending brush, I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right here, and I'm pretty sure this is one of the definer colors. Going to pop that very lightly into the crease. Kind of using the edge of the brush because this is actually really pigmented. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna dust off my brush real quick and just go back through and blend that out as best as I can. I wanna bring back some color, so I'm gonna pick up this color right here. It's like a really nice burgundy type of shade. Pop that and just kind of mix it in with the dark and my transition color. This is just gonna give me some color to work with. But to be honest, for this palette being, I think, I don't know if it was $2.99 or $4.99. It was one of the two, but honestly, these look really good. I barely have any fallout and that's a really nice plus as well. I kind of want to add a little bit of this shade, but I feel like it's going to take me somewhere else. So I'm going to stay in my safe zone and pick up this color right here. All right, it did a little bit. It brought like a little bit of orange to the look. All right, so we're, we're going grungy now. Like, I done took the look somewhere else. All right, I'm going to take another brush. This is another 99 cent brush. Burgundy shade. This one, right? Well, not burgundy, but it's like a reddish color. I'm going to pick that one up, and we're going to pop that one on the lower lash line and just smudge it out. All right, so far, this actually looks Pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna actually go into the other little palette that I got. This one is called Hooked on Vinyl. All right, so this one has this really nice gold shade. So I'm going to pick that one up on a flat brush. But I just noticed, I feel like I've already done some type of look like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into this palette right here. I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, and I'm gonna pop that on top. It may not even come up, but it's gonna be like a nice mixture of like a purpley gold. So I'm just gonna pack that one on top of the gold, and hopefully it'll make a nice mixture of something. This is actually coming out quite nicer than what I thought. All right, so after working with this purple shade, I do have some fallout now, so I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush and just try to Sweep that off. Okay, so I didn't get a gel liner, but they do have gel liners. I just figured I already had too much in my cart, so I was just like, forget it. But I did get these little pencils. I'm gonna just warm it. Ooh, it's creamy. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put some on the top of my eye here. Just usually what I always do, just add a nice line up top to hide the lash band. Taking my flat brush, I'm gonna kind of smudge out that liner just a little bit. That was actually pretty nice. I ended up getting a white one as well. All right, let's smudge this out a little bit on the lower lash line. So far, so good. The eyes have come out really nicely. All right, now I'm gonna take, this is the Mega Length Mascara. Yeah, it's a bit clumpy, but I think it'll work. I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the lower lash line too. Bow to the brow. This is like an eyebrow setter, and it's called Nothing But Brunette. Oh, this is a bit light, but I'm gonna run this through the brow. Let's just see. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit light. Oh yeah, I could have went without it, but it does. 
make the brows look nice and feathery. Um, also, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on these lashes. These are the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection in the Style Corset. I'm gonna pop those on, back you guys up so we can finish off the highlighting. Oh, yeah, we'll use the highlighter. So we can use the highlighter and do lips and all that stuff, so I will be right back. All right, guys, so while these are drying a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. This is the Golden Flower Crown Highlighter, and honestly, I love Wet n Wild's highlighters, if nothing else, they actually have pretty nice highlighters. Just real quick, I'm gonna spritz a little bit of more facial spray just to kind of wet the face a little bit. I'm gonna cover my eyes. That spray, nah, I just feel the bumps coming. Okay, so I'm gonna take the brush that I used. It, I wiped it off so it's, it's pretty clean again. So I'm gonna go in with this highlighter and let's just highlight the face up. Ooh, yeah. I want a facial spray, but that one, I cannot spray that on my face anymore, guys. I just I just can't. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of bronzer. I need, I just feel like my face is like washed out or something. So I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer just to hope, in hopes of bringing like color to my face. I'm gonna just kind of graze it across the rest of my face. You know, kind of like down up in there, just to, just hopefully, just to bring some color or something. I need some facial spray. I'm gonna use my Koki spray. I'm not sure the price of the Koki spray. I'll put it up here on the screen. It's inexpensive, but that spray I cannot use no more. I already have a headache and this alcohol smell is like bringing it back. So. Love that one. I will say, so far, so good. Everything is holding up to its liking with the whole matte situation. Let's pop that into the inner corners for some inner corner highlight, which I just forgot that I did not do. Okay, let's go ahead and get into lips so we can finish off this look. I'm gonna take this lip pencil. This is actually a gel lip pencil in the shade Gone Burgundy. I was trying to get it to match my eye look, so. Oh yeah, this is nice. Oh, these are nice. I'm gonna need for y'all to expand this color range because these are honestly really nice and creamy. With this being so inexpensive, it's honestly a shame that this is, doesn't cost more, but that was really nice. I loved how that just blended together. That was really nice. Hopefully my lip color is not too dark for this because that would look a little weird. All right, so this is one of their metallic shades I've seen. It says something about it being new, so I was like, I'm intrigued, let's use it. Um, this is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit, I believe that says. And this is in the shade 993, I Don't Desert You. Hmm. The applicator, I don't understand that. It's like I can't pick up product. There we go. We use everything. The only thing I did not use, actually, oh, okay, I forgot. I got another lip color. I got this one just in case I didn't like the dark. This is like some type of nude. This is some type of nude color. This is the Velvet Matte Lip Color. And this one is in the shade Nude Streak. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I wouldn't use that. Nope. So overall, I feel extremely matte, which is really nice. It's a comfortable matte, I can't complain. The foundation, honestly, I didn't know if you guys wanted some type of wear test. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is wear this for a few hours. Let's test out the foundation, let's test out the primer. Let me see what this primer is saying. Apply to clean skin, use under foundation to control shine and achieve a matte finish. Lightweight formula refines the appearance of pores. Smooth skin for even makeup application. So it doesn't say how long it'll hold, but honestly how it was applying and how mad I am right now, it looks like it may be promising. So I'm gonna check back in in a few hours just to see how this is wearing and I'll give you my final thoughts. I have seen him do it and I know it's working out for me. I am always in some type of basic white t-shirt every day. Okay guys, it is currently 8.55 p.m. So I have roughly had this makeup on going on four or five hours because I had it on at 4.02. Yeah, something like that. So if you can tell my energy level, 
I'm tired. I did a whole lot within these four hours, so I'm beat. But, honey, let me let me let me zoom you guys up for a quick second, okay? Disclaimer: It's kind of jacked up to the T because I did end up putting my glasses on because my eyes was doing some other stuff. But everything else has been holding up, so I'm gonna zoom you guys up real quick. Okay, so do not come for me. So let's just start with the lips since we're already here. So, so the lips. I have eaten, I have drinking stuff, I have done a lot already with my mouth, I've been talking, yeah, I've been munching on stuff, but the lipstick, so as you can see, like in the inside, it's pretty much gone. My lips look good, the color has stayed. It is a little bit transferable, I didn't even notice that, but the lip color stayed. The lip color stayed, it looks good. Again, the nose area has been tampered with of course because of my glasses but other than that mm, out of a five with my oil level even on my nose just disregarding that part I will give the primer I will give it a solid three and a half maybe 3.9 like it didn't reach the full four but I'll give it a 3.9 <laughs> but no it actually looks really good like right here in this area my oil levels have come in but it's not crazy like I have experienced before with other products. Eyebrow product has not budged. Everything, the foundation, the foundation has not budged. The concealer has stayed, the concealer has stayed solid all day. Like I'm honestly impressed. I don't think my money was wasted going in the store and purchasing this stuff today. Okay, so again, I'm loving everything I tried today. Everything seemed to work out beautifully. The lip color was really nice, guys. I think this is a beautiful like fall color. It's metallic, but it's not like a strong, crazy metallic, so I think it's still pretty wearable. Um, the eyes, beautiful. The eyebrow product, I probably won't use again. It didn't really do too much for me. Um, the eyes, everything was good. The eyeliner, I forgot to even check the eyeliner. The eyeliner stayed, you guys. Y'all seen it, I can't lie. The eyeliner stayed. Again, the concealer is actually pretty nice. I just did not like the colors that I had and it does not give me as much coverage as I would like, but definitely on a more natural day, that's a concealer I would definitely go with. It blended beautifully with the foundation. I highly recommend the two to go together because they, yeah, they worked dynamic duo. It's here. Um, honestly, the primer I think is gonna go in my favorites as well. It's gonna go over to my everyday use. Again, the spray is going in the trash like as we speak. This was a really good review. Again, I will probably review the cushion foundation on another date and just give it a go. Hi right, guys, so thank you so much for watching today's video and just seeing some new drugstore finds that I've been just trying to literally find and use and work and just see if it'll work. I hope I mentioned and showed you guys something today that you will like or that may have intrigued you to maybe just take a jump, leap of faith over into the uh, drugstore land of makeup and just try something different. Everything um, in the drugstore is not terrible, even down to one of, Wet Water is known to be a really, really inexpensive brand, but honestly, their products are really nice. So don't feel ashamed if your products, you know, your makeup back consists of Wet n Wild, they have good products. Don't feel ashamed, don't feel bad, they have good stuff. Boom, you seen it here today. You can get a ball makeup look using stuff under $5. Like, you can do it. If you got, do you guys watch Kaylin and um, Kyra? They're like this really young married couple. They just recently had a baby. They have a channel. She has her own makeup channel. They have a family vlog channel. I love them, so cute. But she recently was doing like an everyday um, video or something. And she was sponsored by this company to promote some glasses. So Kyra, if you ever see this, sorry, I copied your glasses. I don't care, I like them. <laughs> um, but she had, I think she had these on. So I went on the site and I just typed in my, um, my prescription. I got it from my doctor, typed in my prescription and they sent me some glasses. Well, I, mean, I bought them, so of course they sent them. But they were only like $30 and they're actually really pretty sturdy and I love them. These are like my new go-to glasses. Um, so thank you, Kyra, for that. So when people sponsor stuff, just, just know that people actually go and buy it because, yeah, it, it helps, okay? But I will leave this detail down below if you're interested in these glasses. I'm not sponsored by it. If you want to go and use a code that she may have or something, go support her. I don't have one. I just seen it, and I used it, and I bought them. 
So yeah, I just wanted y'all to know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. Be sure to check out today's Bible verse of the day. Also, the details down below of all of the products that I use, I will have them listed, mentioned, and typed out with the price and all of that stuff. But I love you guys so much. And until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.